With the leg upside down, attach the freestanding foot to the bottom of the adjustable height leg using the four provided M8 by 20 screws. Repeat for all remaining feet. Partially screw two of the provided M8 by 16 screws into the holes as shown. Assemble the upper channel using the supplied M8 by 16 flathead screws and M8 nuts. Reference the assembly instruction for the overall size of the upper channel. Verify that the quantity of 8 of the M8 by 16 screws are used to fasten each adjustable upper channel together. Verify that the leg labeled R is on the right side of the unit. The motor mount cutout must face away from the user. With the help of a second installer, flip the entire unit over. Secure the motor mount with the arc cutout towards the motor mount cutout using the four provided screws. Secure the motor to the motor mount using the four supplied M5 by 12 screws. Verify that the motor is facing away from the user. Insert the hex drive rods through the motor and into each leg. Verify that the hex rod completely extends through each leg and overlaps a minimum of one and one half inches into the aluminum coupler on each end. Using the spanner tool provided, align the rods in, and insert them into each leg. Using the opposite end of the spanner wrench, fully tighten each plastic cap down.
Before continuing, temporarily install the control box and control pad and run through the initialization process to verify all components are working properly. The initialization process is started by holding the S and up arrow for two seconds. The unit will cycle fully through its stroke and learn the upper and lower limits. Once the initialization process is complete, the control pad will show a solid number and will now move much more quickly upwards and downwards. Disconnect the control box and control pad. Remove the plastic undersurface support arm covers and attach the two undersurface support arms using the supplied M6 by 12 screws. Do not reattach the plastic undersurface support arm covers until after the work surfaces have been secured. Attach the leg end caps and bumpers to the frame. Secure the control box to the underside of the work surface using the provided brackets. Install the control pad to the front edge of the work surface in the user's desired location. Secure the unit to the work surface using the eight provided screws. Replace the plastic undersurface support arm end covers. <laughs> 